Hi, welcome to this tutorial. We will be continuing with the uh, last time we did a half tone shader and we will be continuing with this metal cartoon like shaders. Um, this is quite simple tutorial. So if you even if you are a beginner, I think you will be able to follow along without much problem. I won't go through every single detail but because we already saw uh, a lot of things in previous videos. I will be I will be linking them in the description. You have fundamentals of procedural textures and uh, also you can check the list with all the procedural tutorials on it so in my channel so you can check that. Okay, let's start. To start, we will begin with a shape that will help us with the reflections. So a monkey is fine. Control 2 to make it a bit more smooth and shade smooth. Go to shading and okay, so the first uh, thing we need is something that reacts to the lighting and uh, has uh, also it's also affected by the reflections so create a new material we will make first uh, we will make one but we will use the color of the gold we will get rid of this Shift A to search, that's how I do it, you can do it as you like. And T for texture coordinate. And we will be using, in this case, uh, well, let me show you a bit. First, we will use a diffuse again to capture the, the light on the object. Then we will use uh, mm, shader to RGB. What this does is to take the information that the diffuse has uh, about the lighting and shadow and convert it to color. So it no longer it's no longer uh, light and shadow, but color. and then you can affect it. So apparently it's the same thing, but you can use whatever you want to change it. For example, I will show you just with a ramp, we can change the color. We can affect uh, the, sh the gradient. And that's what we want. Uh, to make it more uh, cartoon-like. So we could use, for example, constant and assign different steps here to diff with different colors and create whatever we want. But then we don't have a, if we create a group, we don't have a, the way to change this from outside the group, so we will make this different. We will use mix RGB nodes, and I'm already did this with uh, four different uh, colors, so I, I think that looks fine for metal. We will we will need uh, four different sockets here to change the colors and what we and another one to mix uh, these two so what we are going to do is to use of course as always uh, there's a lot of ways to do this you could use uh, a map range or whatever, but I think 
the easiest way and also for beginners uh, we can use just a math node. The information we have here is it's uh, from 0 to 1. So what we need to do is uh, to start we will assign uh, every 0 0.25 we will we will change the color so first thing we can for example say greater than we we plug this we have a value if this value is uh, greater greater than 0 0.5 use this color if it's uh, lower than 0 0.5 it will use this color so we have the first uh, mix done i will plug this so we can see what we are doing and i will assign different colors uh, for now i will use uh, let me think we will use the darker color here We will use um, like, um, at the moment it's not uh, it's mixing because there's nothing plugged here. It's mixing these two colors. That's that's the color you see there. Uh, we will adjust the colors later, of course. And here we will use the mid tone, maybe. around here and maybe white for the last uh, for the highlights then I will duplicate this control D check this or and um, we will make the mix between the these two so I use this and I say, if it's <clears throat> greater, than that, greater than 0 0.25, use the color on the bottom. We are starting to get here the shader. Now, the last one. This should uh, make a difference between 0 0.25. 75. If it's greater than this, use white. If not, use uh, yellow. Okay, so this is the first first uh, thing we get. This is fixed to the object. That's why it looks like this. It doesn't react to the to the reflection. So th what we are going to do is to plug the reflection here into the normal and now if you move the camera it will uh, take in count the light and the point of view so you will get this and it will uh, look a lot more like gold than before <laughs> okay so basically we are done done there now we will make the group we can use shift and right, right mouse. Of course, you have to get uh, to have the um, node wrangler enabled. If not, go to your plugins and do it. And here, if you shift uh, shift uh, D, multiply. Now you can control a bit like the brightness here. and we will we will leave this inside the group take everything from g and n to show this panel here group 
input we want the four colors so there you can call them as you like just need to click and change the color the number the name here and we want this brightness here we can call it brightness you can also set limits here if you want okay we can control the brightness there the colors we could I, i'm not going to to do this now uh, completely but we could also expose this here we can do it and limit them and change for example how much of the white you want how much of the the mid tones and the shadow <coughs> for example As you can see, the yellow takes more by changing the the way we mix them. But I will leave it like this for now. You can you can do as you want. And the other thing I wanted to show you is like I did with the silver material but you can also add different textures to this to make it just interesting or play a bit with it so what you do is you take this this is uh, our vector so we can use for example the view vector to to make a texture that it's like in 2d plane to the view and um, for example i used i think i used um, wave And we use a oh, sorry mix RGB and now with this factor here you can you can uh, change how much of the wave texture uh, deforms or affects the the um, coordinate here as you can see here it's nothing and then it starts to you can change the scale you can also use, for example, here a uh, vector rotate and change this to, I don't know, 45 or minus 45. And you can replace this with different uh, textures and try different effects for example let's try this one you can always change the amount of the formation there Uh, 
hand you can combine or For example, if you pick two of those and change these to wide, multiply them. You will get like squares. And okay, that's up to you to decide what looks better on your shader. I would like to mention uh, that if you want to make the texture scale as you get uh, close or far away from the object, we already saw that on the halftone tutorial. You have the link in the description. And also, someone asked me if there was other ways to create uh, outlines. Also a technique that we saw on the half, to half tone tutorial. Uh, you also have, you, you have a lot of ways, but for example, a simple way to do that is to go to your uh, render properties and activate freestyle. You can set the line thickness there. And for example, now if you render, it will, for example, you can see you have a an outline there. It's not perfect, but you can. That's the default uh, settings. You can go then if you have this active. You can go then to the layer properties, and you will have here uh, a lot of new options. So you can change. You have, for example, uh, the color of the line here the stroke, the color of the line, you can set it to another color. You, you can do uh, different lines and different style for the line that, and that affect different parts of the objects. But that's a, a long tutorial, so we won't see everything here. Just wanted to mention it. You can search for specific tutorials on that. Uh, if you render now, you will see that the stroke change the color and that's it uh, see you on the next tutorial